So we have lithium aluminum hydride, our most reactive hydride source, H minus, and we have carboxylic acid. We just got done talking about, right? Carboxylic acids are also acids. So the, the truth that that holds true here, right? The first step in this reaction is actually going to be a deprotonation, right? It's going to be a deprotonation. We're going to make O minus, and we're going to make H2 gas, and we're going to make aluminum with three H's, and then lithium along for the ride. That's the first step, right? Anytime you have a strong, anything you have H minus, if you have, an o, if you have anything with a minus charge, right, or a nitrogen, it's going to deprotonate the carboxylic acid first, right? Because, of course, carboxylic acid is a acid. Okay, so this doesn't, you know, this is weird. Now what am I supposed to do with this? Now you got to remember your octet rule. Aluminum doesn't have a full octet right now. It doesn't, right? It has two, four, six electrons around it. It's in that third row. It doesn't have a charge, but it has an empty p orbital there. So what's going to happen? Oxygen loves aluminum, right? So they're going to add together. So they're going to add together. So they're going to add together. Now this is going to become important in a second because we just got done talking about this. Where should there be a negative charge? Which atom should have a negative charge? Aluminum has a negative charge now, and now it looks a lot like it did before, right? The aluminum has the negative formal charge, but where is the electron density actually at? It's actually on these three hydrogens. And the nice thing now, what have we just done? We've just made this an intra molecular reaction, right? The hydrates now are right there. They're right there. Right? So here we go. So what's going to happen? H minus is going to react. We do that addition. Now we got O minus. We got an H there. An oxygen, aluminum with two H with two H's. So now we've made ourselves a tetrahedral intermediate, right? Made ourselves a tetrahedral intermediate. Because oxygen loves aluminum so much, it's actually going to do this elimination. And you're going to get, right, an elimination. You're going to get out what? You're going to get out a aldehyde because you added one hydrogen so far. And you're going to get out this O minus aluminum with H's. All right? This is going to be able to deliver the last hydride. So kind of watch how this works. These electrons will come down. Going to make that go there. You're going to add in. So there's three arrows there. That's okay. We're going to add in. What are we going to end up with? An O minus. We've added two hydrogens. Plus, we got this kind of goofy looking aluminum thing with one H left. Cool. Right? So we've made another tetrahedral intermediate. Do we have any good leaving groups? No. So the second step with all of these, so if this was step one, step two is always H plus, protonation, and that gets us to the primary alcohol. So that's how lithium aluminum hydride reduces carboxylic acids. Sodium borohydride won't do this. You need the more reactive species to do this.